So welcome to my bathroom. We are going to just check out what we got inside here. And basically, when you're doing the KonMari method, you're just going to remove everything from, from the cupboards and drawers and whatever else you have that is in your bathroom. So I live in my home with my husband, my nine-year-old son, and my mom, who is retired. And she has her stuff in here, my husband has his stuff in here, and my son has very little stuff in here. So we got that. We also have these things here. So a lot of these things are not mine. I have really reduced my products and what I use every day. Um, so I would have to say there's a good chunk of it that belongs to my mom. And I am going to make sure that everything that we're using is still good. And I'm gonna check with her and make sure that she's no longer wanting to use them. But usually when things are expired, it's a good enough reason to let go of things. Okay. So, let's get to it. So, this is everything that I have in my bathroom. It seems like a lot. But I do live with three other people. So a lot of it is not mine. You can see here. So you must remove everything and just have a clean slate. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the inside. We're gonna make sure that you can see it is dirty. We need to clean the insides. And this is definitely something that you could do for spring cleaning, but I'm going to be doing it now just because I want to refresh for 2020. So I am going to look through everything here and see what is still useful, what is expired, because a lot of this is not going to spark joy. So we want to be practical and we want to make sure that we can use these things and that they're actually good for us. And I'm trying to live more z zero waste, but to be real, it's more like low waste because a lot of products you just have to use and they come in these containers, but, but I'm trying. So I'm gonna make sure that I dispose things properly and that things don't end up in the landfill. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this and then we're gonna see the after. Hey, so I'm done now and I went through everything. So let's check out what I'm letting go of. So these are all the products that I'm no longer going to keep. They're either bad and just not being used. So I'm gonna make sure I dispose of them properly. And then you can check out what I am left with. So here at the top, I've placed my husband's stuff right at the top. Once again, that medical basket is there. Everything is good inside there. Um, basically, this whole section is now mine. So 
Um, you can see here, I just really use minimal stuff. Um, a good thing to do is also to take inventory of what you need to get. So these are just the main hair products that I use right now. Eventually I will not be using the plastic. I have dry shampoo, um, some oils, um, sea salt spray. I got soap, bars of soap. And then over here, um, very little stuff here. I am wanting to have a good skincare regimen and I want to really invest in good clean products. So I'm gonna be looking into that and what will be good for me and my skin. And then back down here. So these are hair products that belong to my mom. Got the blow dryer here. We got other um, hair stuff, um, the curling iron and flat iron I've placed there. And then, yeah, the chargers for my toothbrushes and extra sponges, feminine products, uh, some matches for lighting candles and over here under the sink, you can see here. So the under the sink won't look that much different, but I have moved the cups to that side, which I think is better than this side. I'm gonna give them a good wash too. Um, but yeah, I've cleaned everything on the inside, so, um, so there's no dirt. So let's get a better shot of that. So yeah, all cleaning products on this side, not too much stuff. Um, and then over here, the main stuff, I group like items together. So I love to use Ikea containers and I put all the skincare together and dental stuff together. Once again, the hair tools that my husband uses for cutting his hair is down below and my hair stuff. And that's it. So you can see I did a refresh, got rid of everything that I don't need. It's not too crazy. Um, I got my Q-tips and cotton pads here, which I eventually will stop using because that is wasteful. And I got my brushes here, a cup there also for rinsing the mouth, and my toothbrushes. I always keep this area clear of anything. I don't place things there, so it's easy to clean. And there you have it, a decluttered washroom. Thanks for watching.